Tonker, while you were crying about us not liking you. I was but crying. do whatever you when, like, bud. Tonka, when did the tears come out of my eyes? I was crying. When did the tears come out of your eyes? Probably when that girl said she wasn't your girlfriend on that post. Hey, what's going on? This is my public response to Shiloh. Hey, go f yourself. We gotta go back! Hey. Hey. He said it. Not me. What we do here is go back, 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 back. That was the saddest shit I've ever seen. What girl said she wasn't my girlfriend? When you posted a picture of you holding somebody's hand, just trying to be vague about it, and then they're like, you have a girlfriend? And the girl's like, no, 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 he's my best friend. Dude, you have no idea what you're talking about. That was funny about. as it's, fuck. It's hilarious. No, that it's was funny hilarious. as fuck. Welcome, guys, to a brand new video. Now, you're going to have to make do with my avatar today. I know that's going to make Tommy C blow a gasket. Quiet. Shut the I'm, fuck I'm, up! No. Shut I'm, up! Right, you won't Tommy, answer! Tommy. Bye! Tommy. And it might make Nicholas DiOrio a little upset, but let's be real. What doesn't make Nicholas DiOrio a little upset nowadays? Obviously the growth of my channel, the fact that you guys continue to like the video and pushing it to the recommendations, is kind of getting to Nick. How can one man possibly lack so much self-control? Well, best case scenario Nick's doing is out of the goodness of his heart. As the weebs would call it a tsundere, maybe Nick actually loves me deep down inside. And he's just overreacting and getting Tommy C to make a stream dedicated to me because he wants to help me become relevant or something. I've always liked taking the approach of getting under people's skin and then taking them on, well, head on, rather than just going ahead and trying to suck up and get in these clicks because that's work and kind of annoying and I just don't like dealing with people with fragile egos. I like having fun and not kissing the ring but if <laughs> that's your thing then you're more than welcome to network with Mr. Diorio. Just don't be surprised when he thrusts a knife in your back. I do quickly want to debunk one of Mr. Diorio's misrepresentations which I'm sure was done with no malice or mad intent whatsoever. Mr. Diorio is a Good man. So Diorio makes a freaking tweet where he basically tries to label me as somebody that's complained about him being a grifter or milking something. I don't particularly care and in fact they even made a video saying milking is fine. <laughs> it's kind of funny though because wasn't Mr. Diorio just complaining a week ago that I didn't do my research on him or something? Wasn't Tommy C trying to reinforce that point too? Hey I guess me and you share something in common huh bud? You probably look down on me enough to not watch my work, and I look down on you enough to not watch your work. So, we're even on that. Although the reasons we look down on each other are very different. I look down at you as a human being. You look down on me because of a freaking sub count. Yes, Nick, you are a better ass kisser and a better scumbag. To be able to make it in the E industry, whatever. Imagine still wanting to be a big YouTuber in 2020. I've already started off by debunking one of Mr. DiOrio's misrepresentation, which again, I'm sure was not made with bad intent behind it whatsoever. Right, Nikki? Right, Nikki? D? <laughs> okay, let's get to the actual freaking video now. We're off to a great start with him. The past of Mr. DiOrio. That was funny as fuck. That's funny shit. That's dude, you have literally no idea what you're talking about. That's dude, you have literally no idea what you're talking about. That's dude, you have literally no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so that didn't I happen. Nick, Nick did that happen or not? Yeah, it absolutely happened. Yeah, it absolutely happened. Yeah, it absolutely happened. Now, Mr. DiOrio has had many things in his past. For the purposes of this video, we'll be looking at one thing, and it really highlights. Now, this is from courtesy of a YouTuber named Drummer who actually had beef with Mr. DiOrio because Mr. DiOrio got upset that Mr. Drummer decided to play three minutes of Nick getting absolutely bodied. Either way, Mr. Drummer goes ahead and he makes some pretty great observations on where DiOrio messes up, where he can mix up his words, where he can start the possible manipulation of sorts, his narcissistic tendencies, Overall, really great stuff, and I'll just let it play for itself and let you guys see what I mean. Okay, so that happened. It. You posted a vague picture of you holding somebody's hand, or like fucking some shit, and then, do you have a girlfriend? She's like, no, 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 I'm he's not, my dude, best friend dude, and not my not girlfriend. Do not talk about my fucking personal life on here. I it's not, not your personal life. It's a tweet you made. It's a tweet you made, Nick. Publicly, Nick, it's a tweet you made. That's not your personal life. Do not fucking It's a tweet you made. It's not your personal life. It's a tweet, not your personal life, dork.
Have you been doing it in a public forum? Is it not public? How forum? pathetic is that, Nick? You're such That's a piece of shit. Dude, you went so at Stejo about Augie's shit. Dad. What is your... yeah, I'm bringing up shit about Augie's dad? Drama. Hold on. Yeah, what have I brought up whoa, about Augie's dad? Whoa, whoa. Hold on. What wait. I bring up about so Augie's you dad? Th you think it's cool to talk about... Like, I, I, I intentionally don't name people like this, specifically because I keep that part of my life very off the internet. No, you don't. You try I to post, post it and look cool. Yeah! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! And you this, didn't look cool. I didn't try to post in the pool. I didn't try to post in the pool. I didn't try to post in the pool. It was her idea to make the fucking post in the first place. I told her. I'm to sure it was. She did. That's none of your fucking business. Then why'd you it, post it, it on it Twitter, Nick? In this argument, it's talking. none of That's my ridiculous. business. Why is it up there, Nick? Why'd you post it if Dude, it's none of anybody's business? all you guys have is looking into people's personal lives. And it's really How is this your personal it's life, pretty... Nick? Why you are you bringing it, it up in a fucking debate, Tonka? Because it's funny, remember? It's about yeah, things that dude, are funny. Are We're debating? Fucking worst, We're debating, dude. Nick? Is that what's okay. happening? Uh, oh, did Nick... Uh, uh, <laughs> there's one thing about the blood sports community that I will give. There are certain moments where one can be critical. It's not always a spurt fest with people just throwing in random insults. There's a layer of truth to some of the things being said, if you can pull it off. Mr. Medicare, a blood sports person, actually redefined that and crafted that as his own, and that's why people got behind him so much. He was able to be a critical thinker, very methodical, and yet still be able to get under your skin and throw insults at you. Here's the thing, and the real reality of everything. If you throw an insult at someone, that doesn't make you wrong, as long as you still have a point. The person that perfectly embodies this in the political scene and why he won, in fact, in 2016 is Donald Trump. Donald Trump just wrecked his opposition. And there was no greater demonstration than the way he systematically, yes, I have a dictionary here. I am, I am the person with the dictionary. Systematically went ahead and just tore into people while at the same time going ahead and still having a leg to stand on a point that couldn't be refuted. Keem does this sometimes too. Remember, no matter how stained an individual is, no matter how much drama or controversy they've been in, or how much of a piece of shit they are, that doesn't mean that they don't have a point now and then. To say that they don't just because of their past or reputation is a fallacy. Even the consistent pattern of lying. And while it is something that you can use and could stand by, there's still that 1% chance that the person isn't lying. So again, very very tricky stuff. Of course Nick wants to go ahead and downplay this as much as possible because he actually objectively got destroyed. Narcissists don't have a real strong inner character. Uh, now, by that I mean they, they don't have that sense that says, you know, I need to operate from a well-informed position about who I am and how I fit in with other individuals. They, they're very, uh, uh, they're very self-absorbed. They're impressed with themselves, and they must be uh, right the, the vast preponderance of the time. Once they have decided, I don't want to have to take responsibility for my share of uh, life's imperfections, then as they look at you, they're looking at you to give you punishment. Uh, they believe that you deserve scorn. They believe that you deserve insults, and they're very free with it. They deserve. They believe you deserve shame and blame and derision. Now that we've gone over the past of Nicholas Diorio in a very fast, condensed way, we can move on to the present. For the full video of the clips I just showed, I'll be linking it in the description. You can go check that out. But yeah. Present time, baby! And I don't mean the Christmas presents you didn't get this year. So Mr. DiOrio and me had an interaction. And it all went ahead and came together on a Tommy C stream of all things. So one of the things I really wanted to get out there is this whole debacle where Nicholas DiOrio went ahead and he made a comment on a video that actually had a lot of the same points he had and called it satirically bad. <laughs> now there's a lot of things wrong with this. Let me explain. First, we went ahead and we established that apparently Nick DiOrio came out with that video that had pretty much identical point to the video he called satirically bad. Here you go. Here it is, Nick going ahead, defending himself or whatever the hell he was doing, trying to prove a point or something. So let's go ahead and use Nick's own logic and word to go ahead and get a dunk on him, shall we? By Nick's logic, the live stream he made where he made all those glorious points, which he narcissistically said, Pyro must have seen my video and used those points because only I made good points. <laughs> so let's use Nick's narcissistic fucking attitude and his ideas. That live stream that he made with those points on December 7th. Why would he call his own work satirically bad? See, here's the thing. <laughs> there was another individual that made those same exact points and the, the person actually was there and, and pointed that out and, and, and Nikki D 
went to that person's video and went ahead and said it was satirically bad. So does, by that logic, that mean Nicholas Diorio's points are satirically bad as well. <laughs> How fucking stupid do your fans have to be? I'm so, oh my god. My god, Keem was not, like he wasn't lying when he said people are brain dead. It's just funny that Keem throws a hissy fit when the brain dead people aren't on his side. Right? Isn't that- that's just so hilarious. It's so funny how you guys are willing to even throw the fans under the bus whenever fucking convenient for you. Like, you really must look down on these people more so than me. Again, you're giving me a run for my money in the narcissist department. I know I'm supposed to be the old-time asshole in the comment section dunking on people, making fun of them, but holy crap, at least I just give them the benefit of the doubt that one person out of a hundred commenters will be someone intelligent or practice good fate. You on the other hand, Diorio, you resort to petty fucking insults after you can't use your pseudo-intellectualism. Because here's the thing, if somebody can keep their cool with someone like you or Tommy C, they can actually make you look like fucking idiots. They can play you like a fucking fiddle because all you guys really have is, again, your cult of personality and the image that you guys are powerful. But in reality, you're not fucking powerful. You, quite frankly, Tommy, you're incredibly fucking annoying after a while, which is why I didn't let you shut me up because why the hell would I let Wario talk over me? What? I mean, you're still kind of entertaining here, I know, you know. It's still kind of entertaining. Not, not really a, a high-quality entertainer like a Leafy or something who's reached legendary status by revolutionizing the commentary community. And sadly, when he left, oh my god, it went downhill. Now we gotta settle with people like Bo Black's Diorio and my cute little pup, Augie. To my recollection, I do believe Leafy never made false pedophile accusations or even had to resort to being the harbinger of justice against pedophiles. Ever. He was just a funny guy who roasted the shit out of someone and got a lot of popularity because, well, he was funny. Yeah, it is a massive downgrade to what we have now. Overall, it doesn't seem like the Oreo's narcissistic or lying tendencies have changed that much. Kind of makes you wonder. Now it's time to look at the future of Mr. Diorio and what it could hold. It's, 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 it's a future, <laughs> it, it, it's grim, but not for him. I'm sure he will continue to capitalize on the stupidity of people that think he's powerful when he's really just an Oreo. But anyway, that's all for the past, present, and future of Mr. The Oreo. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Go ahead and give this a like, and of course, share the hell out of this video, because I'd like for it to do very well. And I'd like for you guys to enjoy it and all that wholesomeness because you know the Sen, the Sen is very wholesome. Oh, but anyway, guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. As always, I love you all. No, see you all. And yeah, I already said it. Catch you on the next one. Peace.